been a long and hard Europa League campaign for Manchester United, but we are now three games away from our first Europa League trophy. We play Celta Vigo on Thursday in Spain, but how are Man United playing going into this crucial and very important game? The unbeaten run continues. Yes, we didn't lose it against Swansea and we didn't lose it against City, but two draws. The positives from those games, well, at least the Man City game, Man United were excellent defensively, the same as we were, I suppose, at Liverpool away. But at home against Swansea, that was a bad, bad performance. There's been so many draws this season at Man United, I think 11 at home in the Premier League. But so many of those, Man United deserved to win the game. I'd probably argue if anybody deserved to win that game between United and Swansea, it was probably Swansea. We looked like the team that were in a relegation battle. Swansea looked like they were chasing the top four. Played us off the park. And it's bad to see Man United doing that, going into this game. But I suppose that's what happens when you get an accumulation of fixtures. And yes, Mourinho is complaining about it a little bit too much because Jamie Carragher is right. If you do want to be competing in all the competitions, you are going to have a busy April and May. That's the way it works. But it's the injuries that are causing Man United the issues right now. Marcus Rojo out for the season. Luke Shaw and Eric Bailly both pulling up in the Swansea game. Ibrahimovic is out. Pop is only just about returning. Injuries left, right and centre, making it so difficult for a small squad to play so many games. So we've got Celta Vigo on Thursday, followed by a trip to Arsenal away only three days later. Then four days after that, we play Celta Vigo at home before three days after that, a trip to White Hart Lane with a squad that's very, very limited. So they're going to be pushed even further past its limits. But can we cope? We certainly need to get a good performance out at Celta Vigo. As for Celta Vigo, their form in the league has hardly been inspiring either. Lost the last three games in a row, sitting in 11th place in La Liga. Pretty much their domestic season is over. All their focus is on the Europa League, and you saw that at the weekend against Athletic Bilbao. Lost 3-0, but they rested so many of their key players. So while Man United might be going into this game a little bit tired, Celta Vigo are going to be very fresh. And while Celta Vigo have lost four of their last six games in La Liga, they've only lost one game at home in the Europa League this year. Very, very good home form. That was a 1-0 loss to Shakhtar Donetsk. And they eventually went through anyway. So Man United have got to make sure that we do not take this game lightly because Celta Vigo are going to be dangerous. Man United are facing Celta Vigo in the semi-final, but how did they get there? In their group, they finished second behind Ajax. They may have only won two of their six group games, but in those matches, they scored 10 goals. So they've definitely got an attacking threat. Now in the round of 32, they beat Shakhtar Donetsk. They lost 1-0 at home. So they went to Ukraine and they got, an extra, got a goal to force it to extra time and they won it in extra time. So a very, very good performance there overall. Not the home game, but the overall game to knock Shakhtar out, especially doing it all away. And in the round of 16, they beat Krasnodar 4-1 on aggregate. And in the quarterfinal, they beat Genk 4-3 on aggregate. So plenty of goals from this Celta Vigo team. I mean, overall, they've got 20 goals in 12 games. And while Man United may have one more goal overall, we've got to make sure that defensively we're sound against Celta Vigo. Otherwise, we are going to concede. Who are the danger man for Celta Vigo? The main man, Iago Aspas. The old Liverpool striker who, let's be honest, when he was at Liverpool, he was pants. But this season, he's having a great campaign. 17 La Liga goals, five goals and two assists in the Europa League as well. So 23 goals in those two competitions. Man United are going to have to make sure we keep him quiet. And we don't even know who's going to play centre-back yet. Eric Bailly might be injured. Daley Blink can play there. Other than that, we don't have any defenders. And Celta Vigo's other striker, former Man City, John Guidetti. He never, not even sure he ever made an appearance for for Man City, but he's going to be up for this game. He's got four goals and two assists in the Europa League as well. So it's not just one man. They've got a good strike partnership up front. And playing 4-4-2 maybe against Manchester United, that could be dangerous against a defence, which at the moment is makeshift. And the main concern going into this game is absolutely obvious. How are we going to cope with the injuries? I think up until that Swansea game, it looked like we were coping very well, but just we were all over the shop. The team looked exhausted against Swansea. And now we've got to travel away to Spain, so Celta Vigo have the home advantage there as well. It's going to be tough for Man United, but that's what Mourinho is building, this tough, resilient United. We have seen that a lot this season, and this game calls for it more than most. As for our starting 11 prediction, make sure you check that out in our separate starting 11 show, as always. But for the prediction itself, I'm going for a one-all draw in this game. 
similar to the Anderlecht match. Hopefully it's similar to the Anderlecht game and how much United control it, but I hazard a guess that it probably won't be. I think this is going to be a tough game for United. Celta Vigo are going to be up for it. Their home form suggests they are a hell of a lot better at home than they are away. And Aspas has been scoring freely this season. With, I hope that Eric Bai will be played in this game. I feel like he will be. Jose Mourinho said that Phil Jones and Chris Smalling haven't been brave enough, hadn't had his crazy mentality. If there's one defender that's going to have that, it is Eric Bai. And I think we'll need him. It's going to be a tough night. At least it's going to be sunny for the thousands of Reds that are going over to Spain. So hopefully they enjoy the trip in Vigo. But will United come away with three points or a win? I am predicting a draw in this game, but let me know how you think we'll play in it. Let me know in the comments below with your predictions. And make sure, as I said, check out the Starting Eleven show as always. Uh, drop a like on the video, ladies and gentlemen. Subscribe to United People's TV. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.